Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here and in this video, we will be doing the camera review of the new OnePlus 11. So OnePlus 11 is a flagship device for OnePlus for 2023 and it packs the best hardware you can see on a flagship device. It runs on the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 platform and comes with a triple camera setup along with the Hasselblad partnership. This is the third year of partnership and let's see what OnePlus has in store for us with the OnePlus 11 in terms of camera. So before getting into the detailed camera review, if this is your first time on this channel, do hit that red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish. Let's first have a look at the camera hardware on the OnePlus 11. It comes with a 50 megapixel primary sensor which is a Sony IMX890 sensor and it supports optical image stabilization. It has f1.8 aperture. There is a secondary 48 megapixel ultra wide angle camera which is again a Sony sensor. It's a Sony IMX581 sensor with 115 degree field of view and f2.2 aperture. You also get a third 32 megapixel portrait telephoto lens with 2x zoom and it is a Sony IMX709 sensor. Now for selfies, we have a 16 megapixel camera with Sony IMX471 sensor and f2.45 aperture. So let's see how the camera performance is for this price segment. So first let's have a look at the daylight captures. In terms of daylight conditions, the OnePlus 11 delivers good images which are sharp and detailed. The colors are also done well and there is no saturation issues. They look mostly natural and Sony's sensor does an impressive job here. Although there is a hint of warmer tones in the images, this is not a major concern though. The sharpness levels are good and this is evident when you pixel peep. The dynamic range is also good and this is the third year of OnePlus partnership with Hasselblad and things have started to work really well in terms of camera department. This is probably the best performance on a OnePlus smartphone till date. Users won't have anything to complain here in terms of quality and OnePlus 11 delivers good results in daylight conditions. The phone also comes with expand mode from Hasselblad and it has been implemented decently well too. Now the phone also comes with a 48 megapixel ultra wide angle lens and here also it produces similar results and colors are consistent even when you switch the lens. But the ultra wide angle camera has a slightly cooler tone compared to the warmer tone on the primary camera but it's not much noticeable. The overall detailing and the quality of the ultra wide shots looks good. The images have good sharpness levels and uh, even towards the edges it is retained well. The phone also comes with 32 megapixel telephoto portrait lens and you can shoot images in 2x optical zoom and here you can see that the quality is pretty good. They are detailed and offers good sharpness levels too. The colors are also preserved well. You can go up to 20x zoom using the telephoto lens. Let's move on to the close-up images. OnePlus 11 does a good job with good details and colors. The sharpness levels are good and images are detailed. We like the way OnePlus has tuned the colors and they look really good. While last year there was no dedicated macro sensor, this time macro is uh, handled using the ultra wide angle camera and it works very well. There is good sharpness levels on offer and this is probably the best macro implementation we have seen on a OnePlus device. And it works pretty well and there is good sharpness and details on offer. Moving on to the portraits, here even though there is a telephoto lens for portraits, you can also take portraits using the primary camera at 1x. The portrait lens takes portraits in 2x and you can toggle it from the settings. The portraits are rich in color and tones are good. The sharpness levels are good and the edge detection is also pretty good. In our testing, we felt that the 2x portraits with the telephoto lens came out better than the primary camera. There are also few interesting filters available for portraits which includes the serenity, radiance and emerald. So you can toggle these from the settings. So overall the portraits are definitely good on the OnePlus 11. Next up the low light captures. In indoor lighting and artificial light it does a good job with details and noise is kept to minimal. There is good amount of details on offer as well. With OnePlus 11 there is automatic switching between the night mode and the regular mode. So you don't have to do it manually. The extreme low light images are also done very well with good colors and sharpness levels. The noise levels are kept minimal and it is only evident when you zoom into extreme levels. Overall we like the low light performance of the primary camera.
you can also shoot low light uh, photos using the telephoto lens and it also came out pretty well similar to the primary camera there is also night mode on offer for the ultra wide angle camera and once again the details are quite good Let's move on to the selfie camera. Here you can get good selfies with a 16 megapixel shooter. The skin tones are very good and sharpness levels and detailing looks really great. The dynamic range is also once again very good. The colors are nice and rich and there is no saturation issues nor there is any over whitening. We like the way OnePlus 11 does selfies. Moreover, selfies are of a personal choice you can judge based on the quality offered on the OnePlus 11. The phone also comes with portrait mode for selfies and the edge detection seems good overall. Let's move on to the video recording. The phone can do 8K at 24 FPS and the quality is good and there is stabilization on offer. Although at this point of time shooting videos in 8K resolution doesn't make much sense but the quality is definitely good. The phone has 4K at 60 FPS and here again the overall quality is great and there is good sharpness and colors are also really nice and white. The stabilization also works very well. The 4K 30fps also supports stabilization and quality is once again great. The 1080p at 60fps and 1080p at 30fps footage also looks good with good details and sharpness levels. The colors are once again pretty much natural and the stabilization also works very well. You can also do 10x digital zoom in the video uh, using the telephoto lens. You can also record videos using the portrait telephoto lens at 2x zoom and once again the quality looks pretty good. The ultra wide angle camera can do 4K 30fps and 1080p resolution with stabilization being offered and once again it looks pretty good. There is also slow motion video available for the OnePlus 11 and it can do super slow motion at 240fps in 1080p resolution and once again the quality looks good for the segment. So this is the front facing camera sample taken with uh, the OnePlus 11. So you can judge yourself how good uh, the clarity of the video is. Uh, it can record videos only in 1080p resolution. There is no 4K support. But you do get stabilization on uh, this video. Uh, so you can judge how good uh, the stabilization is and uh, also the audio quality of uh, the OnePlus 11 uh, uh, selfie camera. And uh, this has been recorded in 1080p resolution with the stabilization turned on. So this is the portrait video taken using the OnePlus 11 and you can see that the background is currently blurred. So we have, you can actually change the, uh, the uh, bokeh effect on this uh, device so you can see how good the quality is and also the edge detection on this video. So this is the portrait video taken using the OnePlus 11. This is the portrait video taken using the selfie camera so we shoot the portrait video taken using the rear camera. So you can do that uh, with this, uh, the, uh, the selfie camera as well. So this is how the portrait video looks like on the selfie camera. So once again you can judge how good uh, uh, the quality of the bokeh is. In fact you can adjust the bokeh and uh, you can also check the edge detection and uh, how good the overall quality of this video is. So that was the camera review of the OnePlus 11. So looking at the images and videos, you can clearly see that finally we are able to see Hasselblad's partnership showing true colors on a OnePlus 4. OnePlus 11 delivers great images in daylight, low light, close-up, macros and even portraits. The selfies are also great looking. This is probably the best camera on a OnePlus smartphone till date and it has come really well this time. Whether it is segment leading or not, we'll have to test it with other flagship devices and stay tuned for our videos coming later. So what do you guys think about the camera on the OnePlus 11? Do let us know your thoughts in the comment section. This is Normal signing off with the camera review of the OnePlus 11. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.